Hello, everybody, and welcome to Political Science 1018, Introduction to American Government and Politics. My name is Dirk Horn, and I'm a professor for this winter session course. This is going to be a quick two-and-a-half-week course. It's going to be a lot of material, so you're going to have to keep pace with it. Uh, but it is definitely doable, and I have um, let some uh, material out in order to aid you in your in your process of getting through this material, right? So I'm not being cruel. I'm actually being quite uh, generous, but nonetheless, right? Um, a note right off the bat, there are no exams in this class. There's no midterm exam, no final exam. There's just simply not enough time. I'd rather you guys focus on learning the material than cramming for the exams, right? Uh, in terms of the requirements for this course, right, um, there are three grade categories, uh, the discussion forums, the inquisitive assignments, and the chapter activities. The discussion forums, there's two per week. There's uh, in weeks two and three, only one in this first week for week number one, since it's a short week, and that's just a simple student introduction form, simple, uh, easy peasy uh, uh, introduction to the discussion forums, right? Um, in week two and three, you'll have two discussion forums each where you'll have to answer discussion form prompt, uh, each one of them, and then provide two follow-up posts per discussion form uh, to your students, uh, your fellow students, right? So it's a total of six discussion forum posts in week two and three, two original posts that answer the questions in the prompt, four follow-up posts, two per form uh, that you interact with students with, right? So basic discussion forum uh, protocol if you've ever taken an online class, right? The next category is inquisitive assignments, and these inquisitive assignments are based on the readings from the chapters, uh, and they help you learn the material in a more interactive way, right? Uh, you do need a code for that. Uh, there is information posted on the course website, a nice little video that instructs you on how to register for inquisitive, both for We the People and Governing California. Uh, if you bought your book from the campus bookstore, you have codes for both Governing California and We the People. Uh, if you still need to buy code, you have a couple options. You can buy the code directly from the publisher's website, which that video instructs you on how to do that. Um, or you can buy an ebook version of the, the We the People that comes with a free copy of G Governing California, a very discounted uh, rate copy, and then you get the codes of both of them. Uh, which other option you choose, right, uh, if you're looking to save some money, uh, and you've taken government, uh, uh, California government or American government uh, in high school in more recent years, you could probably get away with not having the book. Uh, if you haven't, you might need to buy the book. Um, but either way, you'll need the codes, however you want to get it, that's up to you and up to your individual situations, right? Um, the Inquisitive, you do have two assignments due this first week. They're just simple introductions and in how to use Inquisitive, how to read charts and graphs. Shouldn't take you but a half hour to complete both uh, assignments for week number one. Um, and then for week number two and three, you have assignments that are corresponding to the assigned chapters. You could see which chapters are assigned in the syllabus. You can also look at the due dates on the inquisitive assignment page, and they'll show you which uh, chapters are due when. And that's how you know which chapters to complete for weeks two and three, right? You can also just look at the syllabus. Um, the chapters for inquisitive, they'll vary in length. Some will take you 20 minutes. Some will take you up to 40 minutes. Uh, depending on how you know the information. If you know the information, you only get through it fast. If you don't, you'll be spending some time, but most people do get uh, a pretty close to 100% because it does let you uh, wager a certain amount of points. So if you're not very um, confident in a, a question, you can wager the least amount of points. If you're super confident, you can wager the max amount of points and then you can get it out of there. You have to reach a certain amount of point totals to get out of each chapter. So it's not necessarily based on time, uh, and then you can get out of there quick if you know the material, if you just wager the maximum points, right? So a little bit of strategy, you can play around with that and come up with your own way how you want to tackle those assignments, right? Um, so that's the discussion forums, that's the inquisitive assignments. And lastly, we have chapter activities. Chapter activities, um, there are three per chapter, each, each chapter that's assigned, there's three chapter activities uh, on the course website. These are simulations. Uh, where you get uh, a set of a scenario in which you're a policymaker or an interest group person or somebody working in a certain profession, right? You're a stakeholder uh, and a simulation is provided uh, to you where you have to make a decision on how uh, to proceed with certain decisions, right? And then how those decisions impact other stakeholders. Um, so it's a good way to connect the information you're learning throughout the course and the course lectures and the readings and the inquisitives, right? Uh, and tie that to real life situations that aren't happening, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago that are happening now under this administration, under the Obama administration that is currently happening in Congress. 
discussions and concepts and theories that are currently being applied uh, in real life that affect uh, people today, right? So it's a good way to see this stuff in, in, in real life. Um, so that's your simulations. Then you have some questions that you'll need to answer after each little simulation. Uh, nothing major, multiple choice, nothing major, right? You should be able to get out of that each simulation in five to 10 minutes, right? Um, and on to the, um, the video exercises. There's Each chapter has a video exercise where you watch a short video, uh, and then you answer some questions about the information presented in the video. It's a simple, simple video exercise. Again, it ties it to a real-life situation. Also, those are those are fun exercises as well, right? Each video exercise shouldn't take you more than five to 10 minutes, right? More closely to five uh, from what I've been told from students, right? Um, then also you have a politics quiz that uh, basically introduced real life political situations, current real life political situations into some of the theories and concepts that you've learned in the simulation and the video exercise and throughout the chapter, right? Um, again, that should take you more than five to 10 minutes each, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes per chapter of chapter activities. Uh, and so it's not meant to be time consuming, right? These are easy points. Just do them, knock them out. You can do them, you know, throughout the day and it's stuff that you don't have to necessarily be that focused on when you do the chapter activities, right? They're supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be easy points. Um, they're not supposed to be time consuming. So if you find yourself spending a lot of time on them, uh, you need to rethink your approach to the course because you're not, you shouldn't be. Um, so those are your three main assignments. Again, no exams in this class. Uh, everybody should do well, right? The information is all out there. You could work as fast as you want. Uh, the modules won't open up until you finish all of them in the previous module, so you won't have access to week number two module until you do all the assignments from week number one and, and so on. You won't have access to number three until you do all the stuff from week number two, right? So if they're not showing up on your homepage, that is why, but you can essentially work at your own pace. If you want to knock everything out in the first week, you could do that. If you want to do it in a week and a half, you could do that. Whatever you want, you could do it at your own pace, but you do have some deadlines, right? You have to make sure your discussion, initial discussion form posts are posted by Wednesday evening and your four follow-up posts are posted by Sunday at 11, or Saturday at 11.59, excuse me, Saturday at 11.59 p.m., right? So initial posts, both of those by Wednesday evening, follow-up posts, by Saturday evening, right? Um, also, your inquisitive assignments, they're due by Saturday at 11.59 as well each week, as well as your chapter activities Saturday at 11.59, right? So the main due dates that you have for these next couple of weeks are Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday for your initial discussion post, Saturday for all the other assignments in the class, okay? Um, so those are your two ones, but as long as you meet those, you can work ahead as much as you want, right? So I look forward to working with you all the next two weeks. I'll be hopping in and out throughout the class in the coming weeks, making sure everybody's okay, sending a couple video announcements, checking in videos. Um, unfortunately, we probably don't have any opportunity for extra credit or anything in this short amount of time span. Not much going on around the holidays, no activities on campus, no democratic debates, et cetera, et cetera. But if something does pop up, I will make sure to offer extra credit. But uh, don't count on it, right? We probably won't see you in the next couple of weeks. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video, but make sure that you reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm fairly responsive. There's not very many students in the class, only about 21, 22. So I should be able to get to all of your uh, emails fairly quickly. So if you have any questions or concerns, uh, do email me. I'm here to help and, and uh, work with you to make sure you get through this class and knock this general education requirement off of your checklist in order to advance your, your goals of graduating, right? So I'm here to help, not one of those professors that are looking to hold you back. I'm here to help. I know this is a genetic class. Everybody's just taking it uh, to get through. So uh, I'm here to work with you, right? So make sure you reach out if you're having issues. I can't help if you don't let me know. Um, you guys have a good first week. Do reach out with any questions. Uh, make sure you follow all the instructions, read the syllabus, read everything in week number one module. Because if you email me stuff that is explicitly stated on the course website or in the syllabus, you will get a meme back. It's, it'll be a nice meme, not a meme, meme, but you will get a meme back as a response, right? I'm not going to hold your hand. You got to do the work there by the adults, but I do make it easy on you as much as I can. All right. Have a good day. Uh, welcome to the class.